you know? And he said, you know, you gotta, um, you gotta make people question and stuff. And I'm like, well, no, because the thing is with men, they don't like to. They explore grooming and suicide. If you are a victim of sexual abuse and are, or struggling. Okay, I missed all that. So basically, don't watch this if uh, you get triggered by uh, grooming or sexual problems, basically. Is what I picked up from that. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's turn that up so I can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I don't know if you have to enable it, but I have allowed my party to be heard in this stream. So I don't know if you've got to... Let's see, a 50... Voices, let's turn that up, because, you know, I'm deaf. And I like being able to hear what people are saying. I'm not sure if you are heard through it, so you may have to check on your phone to see if you can hear yourself. But... Mm. Right. The story you are about to live is shaped by its details. Observing everything with care will lead you to the truth. Okay, so let's go touch everything. We like touching everything. I still feel it, find it uh, slightly surreal that this main character, the one that we're playing, has my name. So it's a bit odd seeing my name on a computer screen. <laughs> so you know, this is uh, this is going to be interesting. So faced with a dragon, one must punish the shield and join us to know. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Oh, thank you! Beautiful, smart, and fair. I'm not fair. I got dark hair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said at your speech at high school graduation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges as capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and we never talked about what happened with your father. Well, at least we know our father is called Leonard. But now I need to tell you a few things before this moment separates us. Oh. Oh, we're walking. Okay. We're walking. Come on. Push, damn it. Push. I, I don't know how to do this. Oh, move it, people! I'm walking you. The affair your father had... The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago, at least, and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. Imagine exactly what was going through your head at that, in that moment. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust, and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in when you did recognize you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas tree. Damn, my girl's got a lot of stuff going on here. so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. 
first of all, I'm sorry. Okay, we're marching some more. Come on, people! God, does my girl not walk any faster? I'd take forever if the whole game is like this. I never thought... never thought age was an emotion worthy of a good Christian. But I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. We have a hotel? I know! The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena. Mr. Jenkins is to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. I think it's meant to be long gone. If you Come on, Nick. I know you're dying and all, but grammatic, grammar matters, you know? Take a quick take a quick inspection, sign the papers and sell those walls that hold nothing but age. Give what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girls' family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, a grandchild's birth. Children's birth. That's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me. Love you above all else. Remember, June 24th, 1991. Okay, so we're in the 90s. Oh, come on. Why was I not already at the park? I'm just going to ask. I don't know, maybe I stayed in the, in the car for a bit long. You know? Had a good little cry, cleaned up the tears. Because from the sounds of it, our people were close. You know, the mom and the, the daughter. Sounds like they were pretty close. So this is two years later. The bad weather cross in Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading That's into the mother snow. of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? I mean, we don't get that much here, but... Dude, in like 20 years, well in 20 years, I've seen it snow twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over here we get more rain, which apparently is not so common for you guys. So I don't know, is Montana known for its hills? I mean, I can't say I know too much about it. I mean, it's looking pretty. It's looking pretty nice. Hmm. And a national forest, apparently. Mr. Jenkins. Double room with twin beds and bath. $16 daily! I mean, is, like, is that good? For over there? For a room? A uh, double room with twin beds and a bath. He's getting charged 16 yeah, $16 daily for two. I mean, I know over there you guys charge per person, don't you? I mean, is it a big hotel? Oh, 
But from the way our mom talked about it, it wasn't. Oh, hello. The okay. Smell. That's a... it's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Okay, so we used to live at a hotel. How do I run? Okay, I can run. I like running. However, we also don't like running because it means that something's possibly going to chase us. Um, right, so we've got plug sockets. Oh! Uh, right, how do I open stuff? Can I open that? I'm clicking every- oh, okay, I can zoom. Sorry, this is where I should, like click all buttons to see what works. Observe. Can I open it? Open! Open! Can, can I, like, turn it upside down or what? Shake it a bit? You know? Battle? Mm -mm. Apparently nothing in there that I can play with. That's an interesting bike, though. What's up here? Locker room. Let's go nose through people's stuff. Oh, apparently I can't. Because some idiot thought, let's block it up with boxes. Can I take like a wrench? I mean, a wrench. A wrench is uh, always good to take with me. You know, who knows where I might need it? Hmm? It's a level. Radio. Don't let me do anything with it though. So I don't know. Maybe I just can't. Yeah. Okay. Check in reception hall and locker room. Okay, set A. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor. It must be bigger. We got a freaking right. museum in here. I mean, this would be horrible to come into if you were just like. Right, can I try to play with the light switches? No. Um, this would be horrible to be coming up to if you. Go away! No one's home! And yes, I do this at work too. The, the, the reception phone rings and I, I tell them I'm not here. I'm terrible at being a receptionist. Leave your tone up, beep. <laughs> This must be a big hotel if we've got a, like, well, I, I can't really say this is much of a museum, but it's a, it's a nap. We have a boot on display. Can I duck? Can I crouch? Okay. Handmade buffalo leather. That's a weird climbing equipment, then. Sorry, door's locked. I can't open that door. Ooh. Mm hmm. I mean, look at this though. God, stop ringing! God, everything's ringing at me. This is up in the mountains. I mean, I assume this would be the front door. I mean, that's not that's not a bad little lobby. Oh. Could probably charge that. Okay, they've stopped ringing me. Fine, let's go up to the phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oops, I missed it. Ding ding! Hey, I want to ring this bell. Let me ring the bell. Wow. We have a 
control room? Mezzan mezzanine? I think that's like a, uh, like a balcony. It's a mezzanine. Uh, look at the fridge. The fridge has its own little uh, room there. No, I think mezzanine's the balcony. The bit that, the, uh, bit that you sit out on, like a porch. Yeah, we do as well. There's like several names for it. Bum, bum, bum. Stupid phone! I'm raiding this receptionist's desk. I mean, they've been really tidy. Oh my god, look how old the computer is. God, do, you, do you remember when they used to be like this? Well, don't leave a message then. How can I help you? What's oh. your emergency? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Oh no, this is my this is my voice machine. Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you. I played but as I told messages. you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I mm. I'm really sorry, Lynn. Apparently we recorded it. But my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, Leonard. Leonard was our father. Uh, yeah, Nicole. It's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel Hi. chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have Hi, to Mr. personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you Why? didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel oh, is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, okay, it looks uh, good. Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll yes, bring you a burger, you Portland folks, and only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key it on the dining room quiet, table first. of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Uh, right, let's run off. Got it. I heard you say that. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Hey, he could be nice. Oh, Montana. I thought that was... Wait, is Portland Montana? Mm hmm. Wow. I thought there was a Portland in Pennsylvania. Okay, I heard a noise and I don't know if that was just me. Dining room. I'm meant to get in there then. The master suite. Okay. So upstairs we go then. Okay, we're missing a painting or a map or something. Well, we're in Montana, according to the thing. So. So this seems this seems to have 122 rooms. I bet though, because this is a little bit of um, hospitality bad luck thing. I bet they don't have a room 113. Like if you ever go to a place, if you ever go to a place that has uh, t numbered tables, right, or rooms and stuff, you will find that they very rarely will have a 13. I don't think that's from where it's from. 109. So... Um... I can't go nowhere here. It is The Shining. It's Stephen King. Ooh. 
I mean, look at these rooms. Uh, oh, that must be a bathroom. I mean, this isn't too bad, actually. I mean, is it, like, I, I'd say, mm, maybe two star. Though I do question why we have a tailoring dummy in here. And we have a lot of paintings missing off the walls. No. I mean, look at that view. That is pretty. Why do we have a church on site, though? <laughs> I mean, that's a fancy hotel. Master suite. Okay. Wow. I mean, this isn't a bad bathroom. I mean, the, in the mirror I could do a bit of cleaning, but that's a lot of pills. Father, what were you into? Psh, psh. A sponge. Why are you making me look at a sponge? You're not letting me do anything with the said items that you're making me look at. Oh, look, we got a kitty litter tray. I guess we had a kitty. Let's close it. This is to inform you that the nominated personal representative Claire Wilson is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath, last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibilities are now attributed to the recipient. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indicating your consent to the above transmission, returning it to me in a correct envelope. If I do not receive your reply objection to the proposed transfer, I will assume that you accord to it and that there will not be any future problems to run the owning of the property named above. Benjamin Jenkins. Um, I direct that all my debts and expenses of my illness, funeral, and burial be paid as soon as after my death. It must be reasonable and convenient. Hereby authorize my personal representative here and after appointed to settle and discharge in his or her absolute discretion any claims made against my estate. Further direct that my personal representative shall pay out of my estate any and all estate inheritance taxes payable by reason of my death in respect of all items Included. Oh god, this is why, you know, you never do paperwork. Where does it say I get stuff? Okay, so it's there. The disposition of uh, property. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That could have been where we lived. So this is probably why our father needed a lot of pills, because apparently he was into some thinking stuff. Hey, look! Wow, that's a tall sprout. Why? Why do we all have our names above, but then, like, me, dad, and mom? Below. 1980. 69. So 17. So I would have been 10 by there. Maybe. Maybe a little older, obviously. But I think that's about like two years old there. You know? Yeah. So about 10. Maybe 11 by here. That's some funky light bulb flux. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know I look good for 50. <laughs> my room, my rules. Wow, our parents had a boring bedroom. But remember, dude, there, there there is a bit of a delay between. Oh. Book of Spirit Communications. Great! Father was into some kooky stuff. We're screwed. There's a lot of wind noise from here. Oh, please, nobody summons gods. Always ghosts and devils and demons and stuff. Right, so a bunch of junk. Oh, something, something. Today I am Rachel. There's lights everywhere. Rachel, something. I want to do her speech therapy expertises. Okay, so he's been doodling in here. Love you, Rachel. Um, I mean, good for Rachel, I suppose. So I'm guessing fa our father lived here. Um, up until he died. Let's go check out my room. My room looks cool. Too much pink, but... God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and Mom left ten years ago. It's so... <sighs> Doesn't matter. Mm. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Please, I don't even talk to myself that way. Mm -hmm. I don't consider myself third person. Um, we played guitar. Cool, apparently we were a very sporty person. We... Oh, look! Look, our drawings have improved, at least. And apparently we like unicorns. Mixtape. Oh, let's whap it in. Let's see what tunes we used to like. Lava lamp. Oh my god, I want a lava lamp. Victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we are waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Okay. Make sure your generators are in good condition. Stockpiles of fuel. Instructions. Oh, but you know, all the lights are going to go off. I better have a flashlight. Otherwise, I'm going to throw my lava lamp at something. Turn. Home. Can we twiddle the nozzle some? Could we put a tape in? Can I pick it up? Come on. Like, lift it. Uncompleted. I think that's meant to be incompleted. It's incomplete. 360 flip, okay. Turn on the TV. <gasps> look, look! Apparently I gamed with that. Brown box, I think. With Pong. What's back there? Not just me, but that looks like a... It looks like a door. Hidden door! You know I'm gonna have to get there somehow, right? Wait, so that door would lead out onto the hallway or into another room. Interesting. Wait, where did you say we were going? Management key in the master suite. Where the frick did you leave it, dude? Should you leave it on the table here? Like, where is it? Where is the key? I have looked all around this place. Did I miss something, like, really obvious? Stars. Right, because there's the letters, but where the frick did you leave that key? String theory. Okay, was our father, like, clever? You know. Doesn't make him clever. I 
Okay, so I've read the I've read Jenkins's letter. So where the frick did you leave the key? Did you leave it in the fridge? Knife. No, I don't want to look at the pen. I'm seeing if there's anything written on the damn thing. Key, key, key. This is a stupid amount of books! Dude, did you not hear of a freaking Uh, what? Uh... I'm grabbing my lantern. I'm gonna grab my lantern. I'm gonna whack whoever that was in the head with it. Did he strap it to the ceiling? Did he put it on the ceiling? I mean... I feel like if he's left the key anywhere, he's probably put it on that fucking side. Right, uh... Let's have a look. And just a warning, but I have not eaten yet, so I may be a little bit more short-tempered than normal. Oh, wait, did he put it in the drawer? Can we open any of the drawers? Exactly. Drawers, drawers, nothing. So I'm seeing if I can open any of these freaking doors. Oh, I'm, I'm apologizing beforehand. Like, I try not to snap at people, but I get short-tempered with the game. Um... Mm -hmm. Well, I'm aware of uh, the fact that if I don't eat, I get hungry. I get hung hangry. There. Right. God, he didn't even wash his dishes. Anatomy 101. Like, was this guy in university or something? Because he's got anatomy, he's got space stuff, he's even got fucking how to talk to spirits. Um. As a big freaking boiler. Um. Pack of cigarettes. Well, obviously that must. Huh. Read and shoulders and holders. Ah, huh? they can't use head and shoulders. They've got read and holders. I can hear something creaking behind me. Ha! Huh? Koi get. Can't use Colgate. Oh no, you gotta pay licenses and stuff if you use actual uh, names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really not worth it if you can just make up a name. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna walk out and go investigate the. Yep, screw it. I'm gonna go investigate because I don't know where it is. He was not in the room. Ring ring. Jenkins, where the frick did you put the key? Wow, look at the state of that. You know we're gonna go in there and get creeped the heck out, right? Oh please, it's probably the entire freaking hotel. Okay, I keep on hearing small... I keep on hearing small... Like... Kid cry type deals.
It's right, if I have to Google this already, you know? Mm hmm No, it, it, it pinged like 10 minutes ago. That secret door looks like it would have led to here. I'm guessing that's like a window cover thing because I'm refusing to believe it's something else. Eating. Mm hmm Well, no, I am gonna plunk my girl here a second so I can go get it at least out of the oven. Okay, got a rando spamming stuff in my chat there, if you have a look. Right then. Yeah, because why would I want to buy followers? Hmm. Right, give me a sec. Um. And yes, I'm googling this because, quite frankly, I don't want to spend hours just trying to find a goddamn key. I know, no, my luck, it's going to be, like, so obvious. Nope. So apparently, because I don't know if it. Because the thing is, some games do glitch as well. So, right. So it could have been because some games and as well. You like, but it's not there. Right. Let's see if it is where it says it's meant to be. Oh, are you kidding me? We were just here. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't mm -hmm. give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. I want to know why Jenkins was in my room but left the paperwork on the dining table. Jenkins! Mm. Let's get into the guest rooms. No, oh, technically. Oh. What is this, a joke? That's an old phone. Hello? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. Um, no. McGrath was my father's. Uh, 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 this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, hey, Irving. Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from He's a very federal... He's fellow. Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... I you... Oh, my bye. just plain rude. Mm-hmm. He's rude. 
Yeah, that's fine, no, but you can do it politely. Oh, okay, so apparently I have a mobile phone with me. Can I take the torch? I know that's a torch. Don't tell me. I, I can't fucking pick it up. Look, look, everybody can see. I, it's not giving me the option to pick it up. Ugh. Unlike the stupid key. Unlike the stupid key that did not show up. Right, what are we doing? To-do list. Oh, well, that's this happy. place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. That did not sound healthy. Okay, is there any way to turn my sensitivity up? Because, um, let's see. Oh look, I can make a Polaroid picture. Microphone, dynamo, what the frick is a dynamo? Ah, here we go, there we go. Let's turn it all the way up. Ah, much better. Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah! I I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, w uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk yeah, it. not telling me. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, obviously. Uh, yeah. yeah? Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with... 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things oh, work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! <laughs> okay, what can go on? I appreciate I have a 1986 Dodge. Was that a gasp of, oh my god? She, she, yeah, she's being sarcastic, dude. Right, um, let's see if I can do a Polaroid. I don't know. Yeah. Wait. Can you hear that? I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Uh, yeah? Uh, to be fair, yeah, if she used to live here. Yeah, but she used to live here. It's like, this is just... No, she's just like, this is old hands at this point. Okay, so that's the main room. Mm. Okay, door's closed behind me. That's nice. I mean, who started to pack the stuff up? Wow. Interesting picture. Yeah, no, I think I'll skip that one for the moment. Let's go into the small, cozy uh, storage room. 
I don't know, I played too many horror games. Oh yeah, I feel like I've opted for the worst option here. Okay, that went in a round circle. We're going into the creepy, uh, shiny places. Wow, look at that kitchen. Whew. Let's chill in here. No pun. Want to defrost everything. But look at this kitchen. What happened to that door? I mean, that's heck of a pot wash area. God, wow. Look how neatly these things are stacked. Hey, I've worked kitchen. Nothing gets stacked this nice and neat. Nothing. I mean, I admire the people who work here. Like, whew, they really got an eye for detail here. I mean, look at the size of this kitchen as well, though. Yeah. Hey, I... First, first kitchen I worked in, there was 13 of us crammed into a kitchen much smaller than this. Like, this place is so big. I have hunting made easy, fishing made easy. Oh, look, it's a bottomless box. wood carving. That's a nice wood carving. Okay, so that's the that room. Okay. So this is a case of me trying to figure out where the frick I am. Oh my god, that is dreadful plaster work. Did nobody come in here to fix this? God. Men's bathroom. Oh. Um. Mm -hmm. Probably be paint because that's what that is there. We're going to assume it's paint. Yeah, there's the paint. What the crud, it's flooded though. Yeah, there's the paintbrush. So 
So look, here's another secret door. Let's go into the women's room. I mean, this one's flooded too. I hate going into bathrooms in horror games. Why is there a cross in here? Uh, funny. Ballroom. God, there's so much. There's just so much hotel. Through a draft keeps closing doors behind me, I've decided. Right, so we're not stealing any uh any alcohol then. What the frick happened here? Oh, damn. That does not look like damp though. Going to the attic? Broken. I think I'm lost. A little bit. I think I've done a round trip. I assume that's probably a key end there. Something. Who the frick? Come on, you screwdriver the door shut? What the hell was in this room? Do we want to know is the question. Staff quarters. See, they never make they never make staff quarters nice. One thirteen. One thirteen. Do we want to go into one thirteen? I left you the dynamo flashlight. You'll have to work a little to make some light. Haha. -ha. That's great. Give it to me. Let's go into one thirteen. If I get jumped. Why? Wow, these are not. Um. Wow, two people in a room? This is like, you know, American University or something. Right, we're in the attic. What's this? Indian vase. Okay. Now that's a nice fireplace. I like that fireplace. Reservations there. Okay, 
So at least the museum that I just came through. Oh look, here's one of the mouldy floors that we found. There's the stairs. I'm gonna go open the doors though, just uh... So I'm gonna go round and potentially come out that side. That leads down to yellow floor, those stairs do. So it just means that look like a handprint and a face. and get away from here before the storm arrives. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm going to explore first. You know, because you know, the moment I try to get the car, something's going to happen. Then I'm going to have to explore this in a rush. Hmm. Oh. Oh dear lord, what the frick happened over here? It's a bit more than a bit of damp there. Oh. A lot of work was cancelled. Why? I think it's so they don't have to do a uh, uh, reflection. Yeah. Oh, okay. Something stink and something some uh, something in the walls. Rats. Enough is enough. I mean, that's a fancy bed, though. I'm gonna give it to him. Let's go down here. Maybe three if the if we weren't having problems with the mold. Because you have to take into effect as well. When did the father a father close the hotel? Because this is a lot of repair work needing. that I didn't look at the lower regions of this house. I'm not really keen on doing so. Where, did I, where the hell did I come in? Did I come in through here? No, I didn't. Um, no, didn't come in there. So we're gonna go get the car. We're gonna go home. Say, screw it, this place needs some work. Gonna go into the creepy bleeding basement. Again, gonna do it while we got the chance. So I know I'm gonna be freaked out later and Oh god I'm walking slow. Does my girl not do cardio? Wow, look at this narrow stairwell. Jeez. Oh, we found a way to the church. We're in the church, people! Oh, is this Kumbaya? Oh, I don't know that song. 
Right, so we found our secret way to the church. Yeah, if you look carefully, the words are actually there. Oh, and there's hopscotch under here. So apparently we went and played hopscotch down here when we were kids. I hear running water. Oh, get up there. Where did I come? Oh. One iron for this entire place? Are you kidding me? No wonder it takes forever. Oh, poor Ben has to do the toilets a lot. Oh, so they've completely closed off the f second floor there. Barbara pretty much does all of the first floor rooms. Wendy... Wendy has the majority of the first floor corridors. Meg does the ballroom herself. Hal apparently has complete control over the restaurant there. Hey, it's very important to know when your housekeepers are working. Ooh! This is not a bad boiler maintenance room. Yeah. That's what I mean. Danger. Diesel fuel. No smoking. Anyone got a cigarette? Because you know the maintenance men obviously smoked. What's this? Peterborough, Canada. <laughs> Corny flakes. <laughs> I wonder what that could be spoofing off of. I went that way and I've done a complete circle. Yeah, let's use, let's use a little punch buggy over here. My car. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? think so. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only uh -oh. trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is She's that we have too, these obviously. new cell phones, uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Oh, fine. Call him up five minutes later. I'm hungry! One sec. I'm actually just scoffing my keys here. I have to open the garage door. Hope it's working. Why? Why are we opening the... Uh. Oh, look. I've got a nice little map here. Why are we opening the garage door if we know it's stormy outside? That's my second fried chicken, Dad. 
grab a drink and we'll work on getting that garage door open. And I'm joining it while it's quiet. <laughs> Right, given that we can see a nice bright red light there, the shutters Beep beep. Oh. Talk to that me. is loud though. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Why Look, don't we just break a window, climb out? I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone we stay a night. We're not getting that car. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Yeah, now what? How about we smack it repeatedly? Not loosen up any icicles. Oh. There we go. Moving door can cause serious injury or death. Really? You don't say. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. Nope. No keys. No garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably oh, only for a night. Hell is freezing. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. He is very peppy. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just I am curious doing about my why job. he is so peppy. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like wow. to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. I don't feel like we are safe up uh, there. Okay. Uh, later. 20 minutes in a completely empty I hotel. It. It's I'm stuck. An Shit. entire freaking night? No thank you. Oh. Okay, apparently we're doing this by days. Great, we're here for more than one. I'm actually surprised there aren't more windows broken, to be fair. Oh god, no, that's not going to cause you to hallucinate. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah, I actually yeah. relish that. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say... You got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the five? Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. <laughs> I, I didn't mean... Don't <laughs> blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, I just... I'll call if I need you. Right. Because we want to be here for five days. Why are we sleeping in this room? Like, seriously, what's wrong with our room? Why are we sleeping in our dad's room, the place that we don't want to be? All right, so what are we doing? Absolutely bugger all. Okay. Let's go find that power system thing. Where the frick was that? I think I'd be in the garage, wouldn't it? If you need it, call me. Cause ain't no mountain high Irving, enough. it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure, you'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to Why go down there, but I loved that place. 
full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Weren't we just down Funny, there? right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, oh. don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. <gasps> we have a Let me guess. game room. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly oh, seems like an acceptable option. But we like beans. What if we like beans? We're just going to fart a lot. We're fine. Come on, turn this on. On a plate. <gasps> oh, there's some darts. Let's, let's, come on. You could have at least given it like a mini game, you know? Don't Irving, work, so. are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. No. He's down there. What? What? Who? <clears throat> Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide oh, down God, there with hotel guest worries. kids and wait for old farting ghosts to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well... I guess he was more of a serious fellow, huh? Oh, no, this leads the church, one not it? That was the church way. There is the laundry room. Where am I? I'm in, the, I'm, I'm in the boiler room now. So... Electric room is just off the garage. Right, uh, this is up one... No, it's up up the floor, so there's the attic. Uh, master suite, that's the thingy floor. Okay. Ah, here we go. There's the ground floor. Well, that doesn't help me at all. So, yeah, I guess it's here. Smack the button! How's it going? It looks real... Found out farting ...complicated. Goes. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess... This thing in front of me? What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like... Oh. 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the start. Hey, at least if we explode. Oh, farting we ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. She Just talking like, to an uh, old friend. Ivo from uh, Valhalla. Push the button! Wow. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. That's, that's great and all. Uh, right, where am I? Oh, Master Street. I suppose up there then. You know a trick that I've learnt from horror games? Don't look back. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, no. my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it? Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. 
There's lots of other rooms okay, so in the hotel. We left 20, so no. we're 26. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Let's close the door because, you know. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey. Listen, I just wanted to say if I came across as obnoxious. Mr. No Shallow. problemo. Oh, <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I, From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. <laughs> now I'm just gonna chill in my room, with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. <laughs> I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for, um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's Which just your job. you always pack extra blankets and like in the, I know. In the boot. Night. Or as the Americans call night. it, the trunk. Not night, time is daytime, look. So, hey, I thought we wanted a shower. Ugh, apparently not. Let me go to bed. Yeah, I'm in here. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, that was a nice, nice day one. Can we keep all the days like that? Because I feel like by day five, I'm going to be like, screw this, I'm jumping out the window. Mm -hmm. Screw the rest of the hotel. The rest of the hotel can freeze. We'll come back in the summer months, you know? Unfreeze everything. Or we'll sell it as um, an igloo. Why am I here? Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? God, don't yawn. You're making me want to yawn. I was wide awake for hours. Then suddenly, darkness. <sighs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and- But, I- Aww. You didn't go home? Any being Because sweet. of me? I'm a workaholic. <laughs> so, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm going to eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Yay, pantry! Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Sure they will. If I can find them. Nicole? Irving? Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Oh, wait, this is Inspected? The you mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. Yeah, it's too freaking cold for them. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. For a while, I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning, my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. 
Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. There we go. I think this is going to be a case of wandering around lost for some time. Moldy food. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. okay. Sounded too enthusiastic about going into the freezer. Where am I? I just went into the fridge, didn't I? Where is the freezer? No, I went in the stock room. Kitchen here. Poof! Beans! Mugger lunch! Soup! Hey. We called it. This is why we removed doors from things. Hello? Um. Secret room? At all? You heard that, right? I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Uh, so we're not happy with our buddy there. Right, so how do I cook this thing? I got soup. Or a microwave? Or just... Do I, do I actually have to literally get a bowl? Bowl! I mean, look at these bowls. These bowls are perfection. Pan. I need a pan. Let's heat it up on a pan. Microwave. See? Told you. Called it. Where the frick is the microwave? Fryers, pans. Why is this like the one kitchen that does not have easily accessible microwaves? Right, are you a microwave? You're a microwave, okay. Don't tell me. Dude, no! You don't put metal cans in a microwave! You idiot! Oh, for God's sake, she's an idiot. I'm hiding. What'd you go bang? Short out all the electrics. Bruce wants to be an idiot. You booming yet? Hmm. Wow. God, I've never worked in a restaurant where they're this shiny. Apparently it's it's a microwavable can. Gotta slurp that stuff. I mean, where did where did we get the spoon from? Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. No, apparently not. No. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended oh. up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. He called 911 after just a mile. I'm just gonna hole up in my room and cry, if that's okay with you. <laughs> I can't imagine that. He asked me yeah. to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. 
uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Uh, yeah, no. We, we like having him on call. What's down here? We didn't check this out last time. Dad's office. Oh, we did? Okay. Genius at work. Nice. So, let's head up to second floor. What do we consider second floor? Because we also have an attic. So, first floor. Right, okay. Let's go. Then, second floor. Swap into green carpets and stuff. Right, okay. Hmm. Let's start from 202. Let's keep this bed. This is a nice bed. Oh. There it is. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. Hmm. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations. But he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Yeah, it's probably there? pretty freaking cold. You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food, and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. So who are it's you? up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. Mm. I've been up there with the truck every month yeah, since I've been on duty. Yeah, but then why would you know the boiler? Is something wrong? Um. How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? You're a complete None. stranger to me. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No How one I can upset me. I know anything about you, yet you know everything about me. I better keep me. doing the inspection. That's what I mean. Where's that? What was that? Well, I can't get in that room. Oh. Hello? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Who is this? Maybe. <laughs> Why not? What? What did you say? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? 
Who is this? You're gonna pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone, I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm gonna get you them to call the him sheriff. You don't tell how you didn't tell him. God, you don't tell him what stuff you got, you numbskull. He's being all threatening and stuff. You don't say, oh, I have a cell phone, and I'm gonna call them. You just say, you know, you go just call them when they're not expecting it. God! What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. And we don't like the sound of this Rachel still being here. You pissed at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? Oh. Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Well, your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. No, he didn't say that she was alive. Idiot. He said she's still There's here. something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but... Actually, they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. <laughs> Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. That's nice of them. Oh. You flag in there a little bit, dude. Mm. So since you're wa watching, um, can you hear yourself on the stream? Wait, I slept on the floor? Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Uh, Nicole, ah. it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Must have been sleeping pills and those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Woo! Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. I but vote the garage side door. The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. Um, what do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Oh dear. There's a lantern, I remember that. Nothing? Check it like a Polaroid. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? 
Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. Do I want to do you can that? try. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. <laughs> Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole <laughs> summer. It was a huge scam. Nice. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's nice. better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Mr. Rubber. <laughs> Where am I going? Ah. You know this is not going to be fun, right? Oh, pardon me. Did you hear that? First floor staff area. Okay, I'll look at my one. So I'm here. First floor staff area. Like all the way over there. Oh, no, there's the crawl space. So. Need to go left, yeah. Left again, okay. Yep. Hey, okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. What a professional tone. Yeah, I use it when I want to make a good impression. <laughs> You're the only human being I can interact with while I'm hostage here. Whatever you say will impress me. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Where am I then? Oh, so I've gone along here. I think. Yeah, because I've come along here, I've gone straight over. Huh. 117 has got an extra door. It's got an extra room there. Um, where the crud am I going? There should be a storeroom. Oh, there, in the middle. Of course. Nope. Nope. Not looking. I found the crawl space, and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? 
I think I just have oh. to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing Excuse you? up, idiot. Shit. What's wrong? Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I, I got the flashlight, go. sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Yeah. Easy. Does it. Push it, push it, push. There we go. Just for future use. What's that? Okay, it's a mannequin. We're good with mannequins being dead. Smack it. Smack it. <laughs> Lipstick. No, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean... Did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. What's a lipstick doing here? It's... a lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this <laughs> brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Mm. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? <laughs> are you crazy? Nicole. It's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... Yeah. You're probably right. Um... Hey! Oh yes, I'm gonna do my hair, put on some stockings, just to run them up and down the generator. Go, who, baby, vibrate for me. <laughs> just don't rub too hard. The static, the static will get you. Tell me, you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through <sighs> oh, his hmm. stuff, and I want Recording to know what you ordered, think, sir. About what? You awake? You obviously Sorta. know more about this place than I do. About what went coffee? on here, for Since once, I, left it I don't need it. 
What do you mean? I gotta talk to you, you about went something. Through his stuff. Uh, what are you okay. looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going okay, on. Okay, there was two Rachel things. Rachel is dead. Rang at once then. Uh. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, <laughs> let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <sighs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Rachel's body was found a very long way away. Oh, she's a pretty girl. Five foot three, though, that's freaking short. We have her last words. Oh, she was nine weeks pregnant. And she was 16. Our father was really doing the naughty, wasn't she? Rachel was nine weeks pregnant at the She wasn't engaged with anyone and Pastor Foster confirmed he did not notice any strange behaviours and Rachel was nothing more to say. Been close to Leonard McGrath during the last month as she spent several hours at England Hotel in order to correct her dyslexia. I'm not listening to the random noises. The romantic liaison between the 49-year-old professor and the teenager. Flip has been a secret until McGrath's wife, Claire Wilson, exposed the scandal, eventually fleeing from the hotel with the couple's daughter, Nicole Rico. Wow. So we would have gone to school together. So that's like, oof. It's 20, 33 years difference in age. So yeah, she jumped from up here, apparently, to land down here. See? Yeah, so there's the hotel. So she went from there all the way. That's a hell of a fucking way to go. Oh. Look. Twenty nine year old girl from Great Falls claims she saw Rachel Foster, her schoolmate, suicidal in nineteen eighty one in a corridor at the first floor of the Timberline Hotel, but she ran away without saying anything. Linda revealed to the reporter saying she tried to approach her, but she went away. She also added, I don't know how it's possible, but it was definitely Rachel. This is just the last episode of the most famous love and death story in the county. Rachel committed suicide after her affair with Leonard McGrath, 30 years older than the teenager, was exposed to the public. She tried to speak with Rachel's father, Shepard Foster, but he refused. Someone says that the young girl is still alive. Creepy. Keep following our monthly update. Ah. Oh, okay. These people are doubting the uh, authenticity of this note. Oh. 
It says, and continuous changes in style can be justified if a forgery or if written by a borderline personality. Wow, we sure made... Yeah, we, we, we... Well, we took that step off the walls. But we've sure made a mess of this place. Rachel says she feels alone. I heard you, Rachel. You were right behind me. Rachel is sad. Today I saw Rachel. Oh, yeah, because we want to go seeing Rachel floating about the hotel, don't we? <sighs> okay, so we have to investigate the clues. Hmm? Hmm. Right, I've just examined everything. What the frick do you want me to do now? I don't know who the guy is that we were talking to. Shutting this off into a gross den between mountains and not protecting you will pay for what you've done. Oh, fuck up. No, come on. Murderous, cowardly bugger, you deserve to die. Bury a craven head behind your books. Her innocent soul will haunt you forever. Well, she doesn't have to haunt me. I would appreciate it if she didn't, actually. Um, I didn't touch that door. And I'm sure I saw somebody in the doorway. Hello? No. Wait, what's that? Key. Why are we looking at a key? Oh, don't tell me we've got to find a stupid key again. Yeah, to get into the rooms. God's sake. Is it going to be somewhere obvious again? Sorry, so we, we, we can all see that I've left the door open outwards now. So if that closes, that's not me. I cannot see any key. I, I'm saying I've got to pick up the key. I mean, I'm assuming I do. Mm 
Um, right. Let's see if anything sparkles. We like things that sparkle. Maybe that'll show us. Uh, like I said, I'm assuming we gotta look. Oh, pardon me. <sighs> Okay, so we've read these two things. Can I turn it? No, uh, yeah, I can turn it, but it's not. Oh no, am I missing something? Am I? Yeah, am I finding? Am I missing something very stupid? Hmm. See, I don't know why we went down to the pantry. We got stuffed beans up here. Actually, I think they're just for again. Tomatoes, but still. Where was the last one again? It was on our bedroom desk, wasn't it? Why is it puzzle cubes? Why is my pillow up on the... I don't recall that being on the war posters. No, I know it's been there the whole time, but I'm saying about the uh, American posters of We Want You. Wonder if we ever had our shower after all. Okay, so it just keeps telling me about this. Right, wait there. Uh, settings, controls, let's see. Uh, microphone, what the frick is a microphone? Well, I know what a microphone is, but... So I'm pressing left, I definitely haven't picked up a microphone yet. Oh, I'm sorry for what I did, I didn't want to come- I didn't want to come to this. But I've no idea how to face a situation, so I chose the easy way. My father have always tried to teach me what was right and what was not, but I've never listened to him. I can't bear the idea of have ruined two families with my weakness. Probably it's what my classmate says. 
I'm stupid and retarded and I don't deserve to keep on living. Maybe it's the right atonement for being a bad daughter and an immoral person. God will be mad at me for that. I mean, I know she has uh, dyslexia, but that seems a little... No, I know you heard that. I know, me too. If this would tell me what I'm meant to be doing. Right, let's let, let, let's go click on that radio because we heard that go off. Right. Come on. Clicky 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 click. Okay, so apparently I was good with the uh, hockey. Didn't think Daddy wanted a boy. Okay, like I've, uh, I am completely out of ideas here. Cult anatomy, yeah, because anatomy is different when you're dead. Erin, call me, damn it. I have clicked on everything. Yeah, let's, let's take random pictures of stuff, yeah? At this point, I'm going to ask you to Google it for me. No, oh, look. Lennon's room. This is Lennon's room. Something's not right in Rachel's story. I have to investigate the clues in Lennon's room. That's the that's the thing. Mhm. Mm mhm. So, I mean, I have no idea. <sighs> oh, flip. Sorry, I'm getting cold fingers here. I mean, I'm seeing if there's anything, like, I'm missing.
Come on, I'm clicking all over the place here. Can I can I reload it? Let's let's reload it. Maybe it's glitched. Remember we were talking about glitched stuff earlier? Mm hmm Oh, my dishwasher's just finished. Right, so I'm assuming we'll start from the beginning of the day. Oh, they're old fashioned keys, aren't they? Let's get a drink while this is loading up. Right, and this time as well, if it does start from the beginning, we can look at the door and see if there was somebody standing there. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. I did play a very interesting game yesterday, though. Um, it's called City of Light. And... And, uh, yeah, it's, you'd think, it's not what you think. It, it looks very closely at, um, mental, uh, mental health and all the bad stuff that used to happen in mental asylums. And it basically tells the story of this one guy, Rene, um, who you're playing, who apparently has, like, made it out or something. Yeah. Um... I mean, she's still a little kooky, but... Right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? That sort could of. be why, because we had that double speech, remember? You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Here there I am. we go. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears See, out of nowhere. Funny, right? It so feels you know like something weird's going on. Rachel right? is dead. And now we know that that is my um, my name. Right? Say. That's what everyone says. Um, do you, now, do you want to know something maybe funny, the story right? deserves a second pass. When I was born was there are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. Mm -hmm. And you can forget about the whole thing. You did ten years ago. I'm my birth certificate. <laughs> what do you everything? care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep so this over is like just a double my name, yeah. <laughs> Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, let me hear what you think. <laughs> if there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you gotta listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but <laughs> yeah, if you connect the dots, do then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> Alright, let's go hunt some bees then. Like, at least let me pick some stuff up. Right, so I'm gonna push that outwards. So if that closes, we know it's not me. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? 
Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipstick smell really bad. Maybe hey. there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or, Rachel is sad. Or, Rachel says she feels alone. Do you alone. reckon he could be he the one who did that spooky phone call? But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Well, yeah, they like Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. <laughs> Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. Possibly. But... Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate you know, in this story. Just and saying. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Doesn't mean it's not. But she was a classmate. She couldn't have been wrong. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. Wait, but she they I thought said I was the skeptical was one here. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt mm. the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, well, I'll hear you out. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According yeah, to so the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But... <laughs> Sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. 
It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Do you reckon Hard he was uh, like Rachel's father. boyfriend? <laughs> Trust me. At least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need mm -hmm. it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. <sighs> yeah. More than I'll just follow what he it said to the about tea. delivering supplies, like he said. He wouldn't know about the boiler and stuff if he if he was doing that. Mm. With yeah, the technicians. Why would he have been in there? He was just delivering supplies. We're on day five, didn't he say that we couldn't leave till day five? Mm-hmm. Ah, sleep is overrated. Hey, Bob. Oh. Hey, Ooh, cutie pie. Woozy. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. God, I'm moving so slow. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. Schrodinger all over. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 I'm not Rachel. I'm offended by that. Mm-hmm. Ah, destroy your brain. Do it. You know you want to. Oh. Morning. Right. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Mm -hmm. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Uh, I did find something. Oh. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it, it's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious mm. stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever. Let me hear it. Okay. Uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay. okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Oh, I got that yeah, in the true. bedroom. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. 
Nah, I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen, I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay, kitchen no. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one seven. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? <laughs> Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear. Dad, I... stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? Uh. That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. <laughs> what happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Yep, let's go creep ourselves the heck out, yeah? Or, you know, we can go down to the garage, grab our car, get the hell out of here. 103. Okay. Uh, what was that? That's nice, I like that. One one seven. Hey? I found the room. But for someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. It seems to oh, me I've course. seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. Hello. Long time no speaking on. Whoa, are we on your phone? Hey, are you, are uh, you found the screwdriver? That? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. Oh. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. 
Well, I'm not yeah. superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. Mm -hmm. For me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. <laughs> is that your line? Maybe, no, I don't know. But that's the idea. See. Screwdriver. Oh, hey, Rainbow. I'm, I'm out of here. I hope you don't want to go down there. And go figure, though, Rainbow. You join just as I, uh, as things start livening up, as it were. Yeah, yeah, I know. We open the gate. Open, open, open. Can't we just whack it some? You think I can have mom's car taken away? Sure, uh, we'll send up a tow truck. What's it still doing there? We left with Uncle Henry, so the car stayed here. She must have been furious. Yeah, but she took her keys with her. In fact, they're somewhere in Portland. I see. Anyway, at the time it was a real clunker. Now it's... vintage, I'd say. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. cool. A bit more than vintage, could do some work. Level. Radio. Found anything interesting? Leonard's motorcycle is one of those things that I should maybe take before the sale. Oh, I love bikes. What's the make? It's a Su 400 single cylinder two stroke. Wow. You seem to know what you're talking about. Leonard and I took it apart and put it back together like 200 times, I think. You should keep it as a keepsake. I spent the last 10 years trying to eliminate every possible memory, and now I'm supposed to keep one that even requires me paying insurance? Well, doesn't sound so bad. Insurance on memories. I think I'll sell it to some collector. Well, if you want, I know a few in Livingston. Oh, thanks. No sweat. I'm going. Oh. Later. Where was it? Oil room or the generator room? Looking straight ahead. Hmm. Oh, I'm playing a horror game. I'm refusing to look towards any creepy sounds. I mean, who put the L clamp on it? How 
much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole... Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Oh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Oh, flip. Good for you. Oh, video recorder. You can watch my stream, dude. Why not? If you want to find me on the Twitch. <laughs> Did you see his face? He's missing a couple screws. <laughs> sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. <laughs> so depressing. Danny, did you get rid of the interference? Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm gonna go have a sip, and if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done... Ah! What the mm -hmm. fuck are you doing? I shot that thing! Well, you're not taking it. No, I mean for real! What? Uh, what the... No one's here! I'm telling you! What do you guys say? It looks more like a... Like a... a oh, my... Oh, they were out in a rush. My gamer tag with 69 on the head. That was uh, just a draft. But I'm. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I have one. This is a lot of beds. Four beds in a room. <laughs> right, so let's play with the microphone. It says viewers is one, but... No, these, these ones aren't. I think the one is a bot. Well, 
Well, when I click on when I click on viewers, I can see one, two, three, four, five. Mm, no. Yeah, well, I, if that were the case, they'd check for more. Um, Revy. You realise it's not a capital C, right? When you search, it's C-O-L-E-75669. He said it didn't work. Hey! <gasps> For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Oh, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Hmm? Hmm. But Revy, if you hit the follow button, you'll see whenever I do stream again. You found it? Oh, there you go. Payday legend. What the crud? When did it turn Christmas? been here for ages. Oh wait, no. I was only here for a couple of days. Where's the music playing from? They're called earphones, dude. Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home. I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But... I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. Mm -hmm. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> what tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this... Contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe...
Even ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yep, I probably would never have said that either two days ago. Maybe once this whole thing is over, we could, uh... We? Me? You? <gasps> us? Oh, we'll see. I want to tell it's like sure gonna feel date. weird not to talk to you at least once a day. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon! Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Hmm. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he mm -hmm. and she were... Nicole. They... Mm -hmm. uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Mm. Okay. Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a, a sex clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Wait there. I definitely heard something. Uh, okay. Where am I going? Was I, I was thinking about earlier, when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh-huh. I, I just... I, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. Uh, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now, I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh, a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um... Later. Irving, you're a nice lad and all, but I got ghostly stuff going on. My game. Watch a stream and you'll know. I reckon it's room 117. Irving, you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake.
Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was, uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. Oh, great. Of course we're going up to the attic. Or not. <sighs> what was that? Nope, not looking. Frick's sake, Rainbow, I'm gonna kill your cat. Get it away from the mic. Otherwise I will turn you right down. It's coming through your side, so... So? It's coming through your headset, so... I heard her in the over my shoulder then. I heard her. I'm not looking. I don't know, dude. I don't have any cats in, in my area. On my game. Or my uh or my house. Well, that might be it then, I don't know. Dude. Okay, you can definitely hear mice in the balls. Well, I can definitely hear you shooting. Stop with the noise, please. Not you, dude. Not 
help him in the slightest. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Hmm. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on the back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Why am I taking another look around? Thank you. Wait, I don't have any of my stuff. Apparently not.
Okay. There's all my junk. Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I don't want to go back there now. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? I like <laughs> that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ah. Irving? Are you still awake? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I thought you'd gone back to sleep. No, don't worry. I'm not good with words. I mean, with people. I feel like I don't thank you enough. I... I really want to be there. For you. And, and it would be interesting, nice, I, I don't know, to, to meet, maybe? If I ever get out of here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it would be interesting, Irving from FEMA. Oh, uh, uh, cool, yeah. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, a day at the lake? I think I caught a glimpse of Hauser Lake yesterday. That would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice. So, I'll organize it. Yes, sure, yeah. Cool. I'll go. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> mm, fine. Let's go back to the church. I really don't want to. <coughs> Dude, I thought you said that your game comes through the headset. You said your game is coming through your headset. I know. Um, you said that your game is coming through your headset. I can hear it. It's like some foreign fellow talking. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. 
When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, I'm also a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. <sighs> Irvin, I like you, but if you're to blame for all this, I'm gonna smack you upside the head with my Polaroid. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart, or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How it's... I... I... Wow. Mm -hmm. Total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... Yes, I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll call Minecraft. you if anything comes to mind. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches, in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. You want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? Hey, what are you doing there? Dunno. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would Just break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. I couldn't play even if I wanted to. I never learned. I don't think playing the organ is a crucial thing these days. Yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Come again. Were you talking to me or your game? Okay.
Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. Goddamn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty. You practicing for the church choir now? Ah, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. Okay, I keep seeing the light flicker up in that thing. First one is if as you go down watch your step. Place that I was always very suspicious of. Where is it? That little alcove by the stairs. Of course, if you fall off there. Oh, look at the butterfly. Come 
there, butterfly. Oh, yeah. Right in front of you. All of it close can be open to if you if you see the end of books. being kept down here? Oh, shit. So, found the mystery decorations? Uh, no. Oh. No. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole. Nikki. I think you should get out of there now. Wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Why don't you call him? It's gonna take him a couple of hours to get here. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe. Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on. I've honestly not even looked. Hey, I'm can you hear me? Yes. We have to call oh. someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think. Someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, Thank he's you. not Thank here you, now. Robin. You got I need sense. to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Why am I hearing breathing? Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen, safe hotel. a bunch good. of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. 
Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. Thank we you, both Robert. agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there, in total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience, he, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. Possible. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, I'm my even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you? My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Maybe it's not for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up still good, and then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music, music box, box with the hockey box. player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. 
I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. Voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Why are we now suddenly calling him Daddy? He was Leonard. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Oh, yeah, room full of mannequins. That's not creepy. Irving? Uh... Hello? Oh, my stuff here. Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up... Like in a scene, th th there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Yep, that's not creepy at all. Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> it's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? 
Hello, Irving. Okay, Irving is up to something. Yeah. Nope. I wasn't listening. Told you, dude, I was focusing on this. Maybe Irving was one of the poor people. I think he's in here with us. Pardon you. Irving? Is this where you've been hiding? Oh my god. <gasps> Irving's been here. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? Yeah. What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? Colden. I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... He's been following me. We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. Okay. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. This wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. 
My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied, we listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo, so... Wait, is he even not How are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good.
figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. I was playing hockey. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul. Better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal. Shame. Death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Wash it, wash it, wash it, okay. Um so where did I come down? So that's that's I gotta go. Watch my stream, dude. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. I do it. None of these washing machines have thingies on the front. He's gonna eat in a minute. Oh god. 
How could I have forgotten? I... I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. I saw its eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time mm -hmm. for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole no. family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers, encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Springbok is in South Africa. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Mm. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Funky. Thank you, Nikki. Funky. The horns are a twisty type. <sighs> You've Christ had me. your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. Mm, no. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus... She never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. 
Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. You're the only one left. Don't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's white as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountain. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. Another time. Beyond this horizon of events. Everything. Yes. Irving? Irving? I, I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Ah, who's there? I'm not looking. Rachel? Is that you? What did I do? What happened? I'm in a car. What the hell? Yes? I'm good. Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. I'm back home, and I have to stay here, forever. Hmm. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day, but they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice. Okay, so we've gone absolutely loony to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Okay.
Okay, what am I doing? I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we will bring back the Timberline to its fortune, together. We'll be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Hmm. That was an interesting turn. Mm -hmm. 